tonight. If you have a Bible, turn to First Thessalonians chapter, chapter five, and we're going to just read one simple verse this morning, this afternoon. I just have this one little thought that that I want to share with you guys this afternoon. Amen. It reads, "In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you." Amen. There was this one particular word that really captured my attention, and that word is everything. Right. You know, as Christians, we tend to want to give God thanks only when something good happens in our life. Right. But it, tonight I want you to know that that shouldn't be. It doesn't matter what you're going through, whether it's good or bad, just give him thanks. Right. Just give him thanks. It doesn't matter what you're going through tonight, just give him thanks. Amen. Tonight I just want to share three little points on the subject, giving thanks. Amen. Amen. I'm thankful to be here tonight. Amen. Amen. Tonight, my first point is, giving thanks, it should be consistent. Sure. Amen. Yeah. Good. As Christians, you know, we tend to want to give God thanks only when it's designated for church. Right. But tonight, that's wrong. It doesn't matter what time of the day it is, you should give God thanks. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you're going through in your life. Yeah. Give him thanks. Yeah. He's done so much for you. Oh, yeah. Give him thanks. Yeah. He's great. He's greatly to be praised. Yeah, right. Give him thanks. Yeah. You're going through something sad? Give him thanks. Yeah, right. Not only that, it should be consistent. It should be compulsory. Mm-hmm. I, I remember back in school, during exam time, there are some questions that are compuls- compulsory, meaning... And it's a must. You must do it. Yeah. And as a child of God, it's a must to give him thanks. Yeah, right. It's a must to give him thanks yeah. tonight. Amen. 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 <laughs> no matter what you're going through, give him thanks. Yeah. It's a must. Not only that it should be consistent, it should be compulsory, but finally, it should be compelling. Mm. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. waking up at morning, that should give you an extra drive. To give God thanks. Having food to eat, that should just compel you to give God thanks. Having a roof over your head, that should compel you to give God thanks. Amen. 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 As I conclude, it doesn't matter what you're going through this evening or how you're feeling. Just give God thanks. Amen. He's great. He's greatly to be praised. Yes. Give him thanks tonight. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Preacher Doug has been a real blessing to me and my family. So I've asked him to give me a charge before I take off to college. And after that, I really want him to pray for me. Amen. Amen. So Preacher Doug, you come and you do that. If you enjoyed today's message, head on over to ibcforums.com and click on sermons. And don't forget to check out our other links in the notes section of today's broadcast. As always, thanks for listening.